See what I mean? See, I just died, so I would want to reload the save. So you want to save often, but you also want to have a save that you do after every major accomplishment. See there, I just died. And you want to have saves at the beginning of every stage. Now the question is, what happens when you keep screwing up and you realize that none of your saves are going to save you? What you do then is you're going to play the movie back, and at the point that you want to continue recording, you're going to pause it, and you're going to uh, make a save there, and then load that save, and then there you go. You're good to go. See, now, because I successfully weaved in and out of that group of eyeballs, I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to try and do it with this one. Now you can do it frame by frame, or you can hold down the button to do kind of a slow motion effect. See, I just screwed up, so I'm going to reload that save. Oop, not that one, that one. And do that. Now, let me teach you a little bit about... Oop, <laughs> let me just do this. Let me teach you a little bit about rapid fire. The thing about rapid fire is you could use the turbo features of controllers, but that's actually not that great. So what you want to do is you want to fire on every other frame. Keep in mind when you're doing this how many shots you're able to have on the screen. So let me get near the edge of the screen so you can really see how it works. I'm going to fire, frame, and then I'm going to do a frame without firing. Fire, frame, frame without firing. Fire, frame, frame without firing. Now let me hold it down so you can see what happens. Oh, that's not the fire button. I'm sorry. Fire. See, there I'm not. I'm firing on every other frame, so it looks like rapid fire. And I just picked up a different weapon, which I didn't do in my original run. But here I'm firing as fast as possible. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this process, you may be wondering why not fire on every frame. Well, that's because if you fire on every frame, that means you're constantly holding the button down. So that would be the effect of holding the button and not tapping it as rapidly as the game will allow you to. Keep in mind that the faster, uh, the more frames per second a game system is running, the more shots you're able to fire uh, per second. So if you're doing 60 frames per second, you're able to fire 30 shots per second keeping in mind that the game's in inner systems will allow you to do that. You wouldn't be able to do that in this game because you can't have that many shots on the screen unless you're right up against the edge. If you were um, doing it in a game that uh, allowed that, then you would have no problem. So basically, just mess around, see what works. Say that didn't work, so redo it. Now let's say I, yeah, now I'm going to decide to start shooting enemies here. See? So, I mean, you could mess around, see what works. Now, this is how you watch your video now. Basically, all you have to do to stop recording is close the emulator. But let's say I, I don't want to close the emulator. I want to watch my movie now. So we're going to hit stop movie here. I'm going to unpause it. And I'm going to reset it. And then I go ahead and put replay movie. And hit browse. <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. Here's test. Now, you're going to have an option to have open read only. That means if you just want to watch it. But if you're replaying it because you need to um, recover lost data um, or, or make a new save, you'll want to uncheck that. So this is the little bit that I've recorded. See? Look at that. And then it says movie playback stopped and eventually the character will going to get hit by something and die. So that's basically how you make a tool assisted speed run. <laughs> I just want to see how long this lasts. There we go. He's dead. Okay, so they, that's how you make a tool assisted speed run. I'm going to add this to the Abadox feature. Hope you guys found this informative and interesting. Tomorrow I'm going to do one more video in the Abadox feature, and that's where I play the game for real with commentary so you can see what I'm really like playing it, so you don't think I'm this amazing, awesome Abadox player. And I'm getting an IM, so that's time to end the video right now.